Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where today we're gonna finally do Kasumi's mission which is a really fun one. I quite enjoy it. We will get back to these planets later. Mostly by the end I don't even need the resources I just need or want rather the uh the side missions. I enjoy them. Help Samara, launch suicide, recapture Friday, explore and crash site, and we have all the DLCs to do still. Oh, that crew is gonna be. <laughs> our crew is gonna be so screwed. Our our NP, our other crew, not companions. They're gonna be so screwed. Um, where is it? Over here. Kasumi in this other system. I don't know, is it this? It might be this system, or this game, sorry, that has the nice dress. I think it might be Mass Effect 3 that has the nice No, I think it is this one, has the nice dress, yeah. Recipient of first wave of Earth's colonization efforts. They decide we less agrarian plan than Eden Prime. The Earth's off first off-planet manufacturing base. They are close to the Citadel, which is prime territory. I'm surprised they got this planet. And the have-nots are rarely spoken of, indeed. Oh wait, I could just land here. I don't have to search for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just me. Oh no, and Kasumi. Okay, I was like, wait a second. Yes, let's upgrade her to Master Thief. Let's do that. That fits her. That fits her better. Oh, I'm so excited! Looking good. Yeah. Hawk won't be able to keep his eyes <laughs> off This is the nice dress. The Mass Effect Three dress is not great. This one looks stunning on Shepard. I assume Allison Gunn is my cover. You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article and badass. Oh my weekly. gosh. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. I mean, I kind of run a band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. It's not too far off the mark. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic. Willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason? <laughs> You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more well, often. Oh, thank you! Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend, Hawk, is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Yes, that is a Saren statue. Our tribute is a lovely statue <laughs> of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. I love that it's Saren. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's grave box. Also, and I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. How could they not recognize my face? I mean, I know it's been a while, but like, this is Shepard. She was like, advertising material for six months for the, for, for the Alliance. You've worked really hard on this. 
KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. Yes, Shepard. The number one woman you'd want to bring on a heist. Heck yeah, look. This look at stuff. her. Look at that dress. Look at that necklace. Oh, I love the collar. After you. It's you so can. stylish. And sort of the like, kind of like vest, I guess, sleeves. Hold a moment, ma'am. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem? Yeah. No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met Donovan Hawk. Why would I be here if I hadn't met him? Also, how is Kasumi leaning like that? Is she, is she supposed to be leaning on me? Also, why isn't she invisible? You'd think he'd recognize her. Like... <laughs> Allison Gunn. A pleasure. Awkward. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Miss Gunn. You were invited after all. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Simple as that. If it makes you feel more secure, she can wait outside. Good to see we're not going to have a problem. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go well. Well, you're right. She's, she's like, you can't walk in in armor, and she walks in in her armor. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person, and no one knows what I look That's like. That's true. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. <laughs> we'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. And I'm sure all the video cameras... None, the none of the then. video cameras saw her going in biz. Locate the vault door. Okay. A renegade. How did you ever contain that situation on the hallway? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam! Done. Thank goodness. I thought those rabble would dog you for years. People demanding rights, how dare. What a lovely, what a lovely place. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. How could they not recognize my face? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking, at best. I love, I love this dress so much. I think in, I think now... That goes to a security room. We'll probably have to get in there at some point. Let's case the vault and figure out what we I have I think to they've do. let you have, uh, this dress in Mass Effect 3 now. I think you can pick... I'm just checking out all the fine paintings. I wonder, who, like, who's who was in charge of making these. Unless these are all actually like Earth paintings that I don't know about. They could be. I don't think so. It'd be fun. It's like, what's your read on that archangel guy? I hear he's dead, or gone, or something. Good they're not. They're not say. moving. It's actually a little terrifying. She's just staring right at him without moving, and his mouth's not moving. This is. See these guys, they're moving. These guys not. This is it's really scary. Data pad, don't mind me. Oh, that's a that's a security guard just chatting with the guest. Uh the place is locked down tight. No way Ro would let that get past her. Rush down around, board on guard duty, then risk her wrath. Chief Ro, huh? She sounds like a hard ass. If we could tap into the guards' communications, I could probably- I hear Mr. Hawk's oh. vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone hear it. Say, what's that over there? Hawk's bedroom, I believe. Wow, who's his architect? This is a very impressive place. Or a very large one, at least. That's his room. I am stealth. 
I love how everyone's wearing the same suits. That's awesome. Love that. Love that for them. Mm. Hey, can I talk to you? Hawk's private rooms are off limits without proper clearance. No. I'm dying to get in there, but we have to scope out okay, the vault okay, okay. first. Um. He's gone. We need to case yeah, the yeah, yeah. Down. Listen, can I can't remember. Clear. I swear there's something over here. I said the, I think the vault's in here, isn't it? Oh, here we go. There's a whole other floor. Like, actually under the floor. And it's just not blocked off? That's really weird. Very nice. There's more here than this I expected. This is very weird. We just walked in and it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> weird. Password protected voice lock. Kinetic barrier. DNA scanner. Looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it, KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Oh, don't mind me. This is just the worst. Uh, I am going. Okay, I can. I can do that later. It looks yeah. like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. I don't want to disable vault security right now. But later, yes. Right now would be bad timing. I knew it. One sec. I knew there was something behind the fireplace. That should take care oh, of Oh, so it's not like the power for the entire place. It's just the... Just that. Odd. I, you'd still think there would be alarms going off. There he is. All you need to do is keep him talking long enough for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Shep. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> you? Ms. Gunn, good to see you. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gunn, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. I only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me and you are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy He's spinning. doing a speech. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of Says peace. Says a weapons dealer. May there always be a market for the things we do. They're like, hmm, yeah, so hopefully we can all continue to ply our evil trades. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let when you go. don't have the Paragon. Enjoy the party, Miss. Or Renegade. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scanner. Uh, it's extremely awkward. <laughs> like, so awkward. Hey, man, let me in. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. Uh... Never mind then. Enjoy the party. Private rooms. Yeah, well, we how do I get in there? there? That's the best place to find Hawk's DNA. Maybe I break into the security room first. Did you let me unlock that security room? Wow, thank you. How convenient. You <laughs> There's nobody watching me. It's it's just it's amazing. Ready when you it's are. Amazing. There's nobody watching these doors, these cameras. Although could, we could say that Kasumi is like feeding them 
like false data. We'll go with that. Like, oh yeah, everything's normal at the party, and just like kind of removing us from the from the place. I can't believe we're doing this. Be back here. This is the worst high ever. The worst I can't aim with a controller. Hmm. I have an idea. See what you can find. Uh, oh, uh, by the way, I know this is in, this is Dragon Age, not Mass Effect, but there I am very excited for the Dragon Age um, anime or whatever I guess the series, the animated series coming out um, soonish this year. Was it this year? Uh, anyway, I'm mega stoked. Perugia. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I didn't know that. I tapped their communications. I think we can get past that private room guard. Tell him Chief Rose sent you. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scanner. I can't believe we just ran in guns blazing and we're like, no, everything's fine. Yes. Very fine. Very fine. Everything's good. I can't control what I'm just having a really hard time. I'm controlling like a freight train. We have to observe the art. Some of these pieces are really nice. It would be, I think I was saying earlier, I don't know if I finished it, but it'd be really fun to be the artist. And it's like, okay, your job today is desi design, to design and paint little art pieces for like a rich person's gallery. And we're gonna put them in the game. And I, I would just be pleased as punch if that was me, you know? Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? Why? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> the eyebrow. She's like, oh my gosh. I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? They have access, Samuels. They'll stop bothering me. Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Okay, you're clear to go in. Enjoy the party. Thanks. I don't know why though he's like yeah I have authorization for, from chief Ro I guess like if I'm trying to like liaison maybe I have to get permission like if I'm trying to liaison with Mr. Hawk and you know seduce him I uh there's the guards uh we need permission permission from the security look for Woman? anything we can get usable DNA from just make it quick and quiet I don't want to search this guy's house <gasps> found a sample no credit check. No credit check. Aha! Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Hmm. No DNA. Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cagey's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Good morning. Hey. Time to wake up. Sorry. No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. Plant. It's clean. It's yeah, <laughs> she's like, Shepard's like, I got this covered. <laughs> we're, we're covering all our bases. Little project progress to report. We have the completed dictionary attacks using words and phrases from 4,800 galactic languages. It's unlikely that a random brute force approach will produce a result in our lifetime. Could be a memory, emotion, even a smell. The permutation could be infinite. I suggest that we begin investigating alternative methods for breaking through the security on the box. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pack. He seems to have obsessed over this. But I'm not sure there's enough. Let's keep looking. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. Dang it. Antique weapons. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from Why would he touch it? It's probably contaminated, though. We should find another sample. I'm also going to steal money because I need it. I need it to buy upgrades for my armor and my weapons. And money's a hot commodity. I already touched the wine glass. 
Not a great saliva sample. Oh, I must have touched something else. That okay. Do. Let's get out of here. I thought I okay, yeah, that makes sense. I was like, why didn't the, why doesn't the wine glass work? And why is she talking? I, I figured she was like, oh, he's drinking a lot because he's trying. Like that's why she associated it with trying to break open the gray box. Because it's a lot of work. Eee! Don't mind me. What a lovely party this was. What a what a lovely dress I'm wearing. The security door is still open with the corpses just hanging out there. I think we've done everything we need to do. We can go in now. DNA, voice sample, power, it's over here. They've blocked off the upper floors, but he hasn't blocked off the hallway to his vault. Unless he like lets people in just to like look at his security Back system. On. The barrier's down. Password required. Verusha. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. Well, it's been a nice dress. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. She's like, finally! <laughs> Shep does look good in this, though. I should wear it around the ship more often. That would be a little weird, though, to have your commanding officer running around in, like, an informal... Well, formal, but not a military-grade dress, you know? <laughs> military-grade dress. Wouldn't that be something? I would wear an armored dress. Not in real life, but in the game. You get, like, the armored robes that look pretty good. Where did I put the dress? I hope I put it in one of my pockets. I'm sure I've got pockets. I think we're good. Don't really have many options. Upgrade the phalanx. Yeah. Missile launcher should be fine. It's usually fine for everything, really. All purpose. And now we get some Dragon Age eggs. Back there, see it? Pride Demon. So this is Hawk's fault. Very nice. I like this seeing. This will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. I like seeing the uh, uh, smile on Shep's face. Anyway, also this man's a horrible person. <laughs> Look, he freaking has Michelangelo David. Michelangelo's David. Just like how did he? How did wow. he get that? Think we could get this out through the door? Like, unless the the one that the museum would ostensibly have is uh, a fake, maybe. Hawk has good taste. He's got a lot of Krogan statues. Ugh. Rachni Queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. It does make me worry that about my other the, the queen that I helped out. Um Anyway. This looks like quarry. Oh stuff. my gosh. Wow. This is cold. See, and this is the thing, right? It's When was the last time the Quarians wrote on stone? Like freaking it's like, oh, I'm saving it. I'm saving all these cool artifacts so that they're safe. But, like, what's the point of them being safe if nobody looks at them or analyzes them? Or just, you know, analyzes them for, like, what they, like, the, the value that they have to society at large. And he's literally just keeping it. This is essentially, like, a man's giant shoebox, and he's hiding it under his bed. Like, that's what I usually say about people who, like, loot, like, projectile points and stuff like that. They're like, oh, it's cool, and maybe put it in a shadow box. Or they'll put it, like, you know, they'll show it off a little bit, put it on the shelf, and then after a while, it goes into a shoebox under your bed, you know? And, like, nobody gets to see him anymore until it gets thrown into the trash by your grandkids, you know? That's impressive. Not sure what it is, yeah, though. Yeah, listen, I will get to KG's gray box, but I don't want to look at it just yet. He stole this from the planet that we were on that should be off limits still. I can still get money for something like this, even outside the Alliance. 
Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. And we'll have to cut it off there, unfortunately, because I could not manage to squish this into one episode. So I just fit it into two, but that's going forward going to be very exciting for editing for me. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video really really quick. I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest, and I really appreciate your help and all your support and everything else. So thank you again, and I hope to see you all in the next one.